the changes to fire isolated exits that we're proposing intend to minimise the risk that a person becomes trapped in a fire isolated exit. People who inadvertently enter a fire isolated exit may become disoriented or potentially trapped. Examples of instances where people were trapped in these exits show the results can be catastrophic in terms of their health and in some cases lead to a fatality. In developing these changes, we consulted with our peak technical committee, the Building Codes Committee, or BCC. There are two main changes to the provisions for re-entry from fire isolated exits. Firstly, we're proposing to expand the list of classifications to which the provisions apply to include apartment buildings, hotels and shops. The proposed changes also require a sign on at least every second floor where re-entry is not available to clearly state where re-entry can be achieved. This would apply to fire isolated exit doors fitted with a fail-safe device that automatically unlocks the door when the fire alarm is activated. These cost-effective changes will mean safer public buildings by minimising the risks associated with someone being trapped in a fire isolated exit. If you'd like to provide feedback on this proposed change, visit our dedicated PCD page, abcb.gov.au forward slash PCD. Here you'll find links to the draft changes for volumes one, two and three and the housing provisions. You'll also find links to support materials and technical documents to help you understand the proposed changes. Finally, this page has a link to our consultation page where you can have your say. The public consultation is open from 1 May to 1 July 2024. We look forward to your input.